Ogres. Oh, yes, Proga concession farmers. <laughs> All right, who's this? This has got to be somebody, hasn't it? Sir Iron Clad. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, he's got six, though. He actually might just hammer me here, mightn't he? <laughs> Although I'm laughing, he might just fucking hammer me. This was a good shout to uh, to do this, actually. To make an ogre team. Um, the guy can No, the guy didn't concede. He just got beat. Noah's just got straight up beaten by ogres. 2-1. What the fuck? Um, yeah, that's 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 a, that's a good shout, actually. If you're going to play ogres, do it on day one of the ladder. And just, you know, people are going to see this and think, fuck this. And he could just dice the fuck out of me, couldn't he? It's... Um, 11 man team, no apple. Prepare to get diced. Yeah, but two deaths is only two players, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Ogres are funny till you get pummeled by a six mighty blow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, this can be uh, the concession farm. I like that. That's that's a good shout. It really is a good shout, to be honest, day one. Mm. On the one hand, it's ha offense is hard for for ogres, but on the other hand, you really don't want them to give give them four mighty blow hits to start the game, do you? Yeah, listen to Tony, if you kick, you lose two people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can post to the link. You post links again, Destinov, yeah. You can you can post links. It, it, that, that, was, that issue was solved a while ago. Yeah, I can unmute. I can unmute for uh, Sir Ironclad. I should have done that when I played Mill of Joe, shouldn't I? Hello. Bad luck, get fucked. There will be a playoff for season nine, yeah. Fiction, but just no, no, uh, no money. I really need to get the sounds fixed on. Hopefully that thing will work with the uh, user, user control and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <coughs> You've got a bad luck, get fucked people, haven't you? I mean, why are you playing Blood Bowl if you're not going to say bad luck, get fucked? That's all I can say. Um, I've got to put a lot on the line, haven't I? Look about. When I say a lot, <laughs> I mean everything. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All men's LOS. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah! Fucked him. Take that push. Oh, and that failed. Brilliant.
<laughs> no, pod tym. Standard, standard push into contact, isn't it? Hey, the one block that could that could get me block backed obviously led to me getting blocked back. Fair can you get a reroll? Hello, Hogan. Yeah, you do your dudes can die against all of this. Kemri has an apple. No way, Waitrix. Is that not in is that in single player? I thought I thought there was a thing about in single player they, they can Kemri the AI buys apples from inducements. But they said they were going to fix that. So maybe when if they fix that, yeah, in single player, yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it gets wandering apothecaries' inducements. But they said they were going to fix it. Right, he's gone for the strand on the sideline play. I'll just make a Kaz on turn one. Make a Kaz with every block player is actually what he's going for. Yeah. Oh man, stacking the double GFI. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I was going to throw one. Could shout if it works. Not so good if it doesn't. Oh, that's not two star player points. Did he die, or was it just a was it just a badly hurt or something? So in in that in that regard, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, I can dodge away, I guess. Block there, blitz him. Warrior star player points. Niggled. Shit. So yeah, it's pretty bad then, isn't it? Yeah, dead. But he, he leveled, which is pretty good.
Total banners both the star player by <laughs> Maybe, you never know. You never know what's going on in, in the dulled brain. to base the ball if, if I let him blitz but on the other hand um, <laughs> if I let him splat my guy that's not good either is it Actually broke armor seven. You know I'm in for a rough game when, <laughs> when I'm playing someone who can break armor against Norse. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's the definition of like cheating dice. If you can actually break the AV of a Norseman. Holy shit. Funny, I really hate throwing snotlings. I try to never do it, but um, I guess it can work. Thinking about Apple in here. A KO'd loner snot. <laughs> right. um. It's rough, isn't it? Nice, just block him. Who'd fucking play it, eh? So now he can go there for the assist. <sighs> two two draw by double concession. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's annoying, isn't it? Because it's it's obviously gives him another mighty bow hit. That double skull after fucking triple, triple downing and then near, nearly, nearly triple down into triple skull, wasn't it? That was horrific.
Oh, don't base, base, basing. But I mean, it's fair enough when you're strength five, isn't it? <laughs> But if I can get the little shithead snotlings out, it'll be alright. Oh wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you Thomas Griff for the bits, thank you. Wow, lucky, well I say lucky, not lucky obviously. Um, well done that he made it three dice, because if it hadn't been three dice, he'd have got banged on. So he's given up a block there, that's good. And he can blitz him, I think. No, no, because of that fucking snotling. Shit. So maybe I'll block him away. And then blitz him. Hmm. He could blitz him. Yeah, that works. Okay, so he blitzes him, so he just stands up. Gotta make this three dice. Oh, well, he'll get three dice anyway, won't he? Because he's got two assists. Yes. Perfect. So that, that keeps the warriors free. I guess I've got to keep these ogres occupied while I try and make a break for it. See, this is the thing. This is going to make his offense harder, isn't it? That's uh, that's why, although it's harder on your offense against ogres, if you do hurt his ogres, it makes his offense that much harder. Four, five, six. Did that do what I wanted it to do? No. Not really, because I can't make it three. Anything on him. Dodge away here and potato. Could get the blocks. Get the assists there. If I fail this dodge, I guess I just fucking fail it. No need to reroll, is there? Because I've only got one. And I'll be able to get the ball later. Anyway. <laughs> fucking hell. Maybe I should have re-rolled it, eh? <laughs> Maybe I should have re-rolled it. That was like the worst possible scatter. Literally. Yeah, some salt there. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> yes, well done. <laughs> well done, Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one can see the chat on the YouTube. That's a shame, isn't it? But Shawnee there. <laughs> Shawnee Clarkson. <laughs> oh, let's let's not spam like that. Explosive mine. Shit. Oh no, fuck off, you lucky bastard. Oh, that's some bullshit there, isn't it? Oh, luckily. <laughs> Thank God he, he made that block instead of just dodging away. If he dodged away, he'd have been good, wouldn't he? One, two, three, four. Whew. Right, I mean, maybe I, did the, maybe I made the mistake by not, uh, by not re-rolling there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can get there. Oh, he could block him and then he could get round here and then he could blitz. It's not easy though, is it? This, this fucker's, the stun was actually pretty bad because if he wasn't stunned, it would just be get, get assists in, two dice in, no problem. So he can only get to there, so I guess this is the way it's got to go. Maybe I should just blitz him and then not, not care about the pickup. It's got to be in a tackle zone. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ugh. Hello, table leg. Is there a story? Is there a story where the running game? <laughs> there was a game where I. Uh, it was a game that I won 4 nil one time, or something like this, or 4-1. And the comment on YouTube was, you should have tried the running game. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. The ball did defend itself. He rolled a 1 on his, uh, on his ogre, so thank God. Yeah, ogres have been ogres now. Thank God. Hello, VIP Mr. Yen and Okay, now this is this is way too close. That that was that was bad by me, I guess, not rerolling that dodge. Holy shit! All right, pretty good. Am I just in range? I think I am. That's three, isn't it? And then five, and then five. Holy shit! VIP sleeper save randomly is the one who gets it. Um, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, so he can't base. So, let's put him there. Three dice, this piece of shit. I 
I've been pretty lucky on the three die. Well, apart from the one that had to, that I had to re-roll. I've been pretty lucky getting powers on them, to be fair. <laughs> right, if I push him... It's not the end of the world. But the pal has... Pretty big payoff. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. So I can't really base with him. Don't care about saving the loner as much as a real guy. A real boy. Oh, there you go. Guardian. Yeah, it's a comedian's joke. Uh, Stuart Lee, and in fact, table like it was a it was a Stuart Lee sketch about Jeremy Clarkson and uh, what's he called? Fucking Richard Hammond, and it's pretty good. It was pretty funny. Is text to voice turned on? It should be Tony. It should actually be turned on, so I don't know why it's not working. Because it is turned on. Um, thank you for the bits. Oh yeah, brilliant. He can base or even hit, so could foul him. I wouldn't hate it. Um, on the other hand, could just stand three players there. Should have blitzed. Mm. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. I've got the second hit on him. Doing. Got an armor break. Shit. Kaz there would have been huge, wouldn't it? Huge. So he can't reach, he can't reach, he can't reach, he can reach. So I have to shore it up. And what can he do? He can dodge out, dodge out. GFI, GFI, he could blitz. Dodge out GFI, so do you want to go there? Alright, pretty lucky. Yeah, I'm already death spiraling, Ducky. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there you go, quick draw, yeah, if. Yeah, there you go, that was it. And the stumbles here. <laughs> yeah. Not only a touchdown on level, isn't it? I think. No. No. The the other oh, other warrior's got a level. Has got a level. And this might be a TD for Sleep Sith. Three, four, five. VIP Sleep Sith. Three. 
So yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of snotlings and a lot aren't they? Which has got to be good. For the second half. Oh, that, that's good, Jellio. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't believe the two-point guy died after getting a two re-rolled into a one for winning. When all I wanted was my apple. Ogres are funny, aren't they? Because you want to play against them to get the free win. But it's fucking horrible. <laughs> Six mighty blow. <laughs> it can just be a fucking pain in the ass, can't it? They can certainly hurt you. <laughs> and they can sometimes win. As as uh, as Sir Ryan Clad proved against uh, against Norse, they can win. They can win against anyone if they just remove half the team, can't they? Second half you could just cause four four removals, even just four armor breaks turn one and it's gonna be really fucking hard. And now has the double LOS when I score on turn eight. He has the double LOS of death. Obviously without a reroll I'm not gonna make any box. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame of of champ's ladder rules. Zero, zero. One, two, three, four, five. I think probably this is going to be better. I shouldn't have put them together. I guess it's harder to three dice them now. But with only one snotling. <laughs> if I throw a teammate, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? It's got to be a touchback or an ogre, ogre pickup, and off. Eleven games got a C on the four mighty boy. Yeah, you proved that. The funniest thing was, and I, I was in a, I was in like a tabletop league with uh, with my friends, and uh, <laughs> I used Chaos Dwarves, and I got a claw pom in about seven games, something fucking daft, because he started off like getting a Kaz and an MVP or something game one, and uh, and I think he must have got claw first, or like mighty blow, and then maybe. He's, Maybe he's got a touchdown and a Kaz and an MVP game one. Something crazy. And then uh, something happened anyway. Maybe game one he got two touchdowns and an MVP or something like that. Something that made me want him to get him second. So maybe he got two, two touchdowns and an MVP. So then second game he got two touchdowns. And then like, you know, had Claw Mighty Blow or whatever. And then after that, just randomly got up to 31. I remember feeding him a lot of TDs. So I must have got him up to 16 fairly quickly to want to feed him five touchdowns after that. But, um, yeah. It was pretty funny. Shiny hair. <laughs> Shawnee. Is he going to go for the foul? Only a madman would do that. What an absolute madman! Oh, you lucky fucking cunt. Oh, oh fuck off. Ah. Ah. I mean, it's fair. it's fair enough, tr obviously, trading a, like a 20k player for a 60k player. But when you've already got no players, it's, uh, it's ballsy, isn't it? Paid off, though. Fucking paid off. Like you could have had no no snotlings there. Look 
now this is horrible. <laughs> I mean, it could definitely be a comeback, couldn't it, to be fair? Three, seven, eight. Eight against seven. Only one man up after that. Fucking crazy. KO on the cars. <laughs> Thanks, table, though. I say, my friends, it was people from Middlesbrough, so... It was... <laughs> to be fair, Shawnee, yeah, I shouldn't have called them friends, um, but you know what two of them were. Two of them were my friends. One were, one was Canadian, and then the others were from Middlesbrough. Blah. Blah. He's not even French Canadian. We just call him French Canadian. <laughs> but he is Canadian. He had packed and predictably killed all my players when we played. You know, of course. If you've got if you've got three mighty blow, then what that means is every every knockdowns of cars. This is equal players now, isn't it? Seven v seven. Except six of his are strength five. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, Shawnee. <laughs> the good thing is that there's going to be a turn where he boneheads two or three, isn't it? This this turn, not so crucial, I guess, unless the ball scatters out, no re-rolls. No, of, course, of course he doesn't fill the pickle. Could one dice him, and then two dice the ball. Does that work? I don't think it does actually. You get a guy in there. For the push. I couldn't, couldn't get around this guy. So I'd have to power him to here and follow. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, uh, so him there, him there, power him on a one dice. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, Four, five, six, GFI. Doesn't seem too ridiculous, does it? Oh, baby.
couldn't really 2D him because to get the assist, to get the third assist, I'd have to get around there. So it was, I would have rather 2D'd him and 1D'd the ball. Yeah, I was better position before, yeah. Yeah, it's true. But now at least his brave tackle hasn't got the ball. So popping the ball is always good, isn't it, when your opponent has agility two players with bonehead um, and no re-rolls. I was okay popping the ball. But yeah, now now he's got... But then, you know, he wants to score. If he doesn't score, I'll just score against him more now, so... I don't hate it. Yeah, maybe I should have just kept him in front of us. Course he wouldn't fail anything. It's silly to entertain the prospect of your opponent failing a dice roll, isn't it? Right. One dice him. One dice him. That's one dice him because it's fun. It's horrible because I don't want to fucking base anybody because they'll just fucking splat me, won't they? So it actually makes defending hard. do is just randomly fucking kill my players. Fucking ogres, man. a turn where he just boneheads everybody. Well he had it, I sh maybe I should have uh, maybe I should have followed and gone for the pickup and stuff like that. It's really hard though being equal numbers <laughs> with ogres, isn't it? GFI and two dice him. Then one, two, three, four, five, three dice him. And then one dice him or some bollocks. Well, what does that do? It doesn't really do anything, does it? One dice blitz him and then get the him through and then base him. And base him. That's a double GFI, of course. Seems terrible then, doesn't it? Right, one dice blitz. With a loner, let's go. enough of that. I 
I'm only unmuting people after I've won. <laughs> Is this the Bloodborne Mobile? That always a move. Yeah, it's not. It's not great graphics, is it? But ah, he did have a bad turn there, didn't he? Somewhat. But <laughs> the fact that he got two fucking stuns before it <laughs> makes it not that bad. Like I can't even get a one dice, can I? Oh yeah, I can. Three, two, two. Pretty good turn there. <laughs> Crunch, yeah. Ah, oh, he's doing the chain. Eating the bone, what a genius move, making that block first to use up the bonehead. Genius. Doesn't get the power though. Hope dirt, base, base, base. Assists. Dirty fucking dingo. But can sort of swarm him? At least a little. Oh, what an idiot he was there. Can sort of swarm him a little bit now. GFI's got to be done last. Oh, fuck off, man. <sighs> These dice, though. Been pretty amazing. To be fair, roll, I've been good at powering snotlings. I've been really good at powering snotlings. And probably should have revolved that that failure earlier. You don't need to tell me about it, Johnny Contraletti. I mean, at least it was a loner. But fucking hell. Good job I made the safe moves first. Looks like a draw against Ogres, doesn't it? Holy shit. I think he'll go for the touchdown this turn. Because, I mean, I'm unlikely to score in three turns with a one reroll. Make irrelevant blocks first, though, with no rerolls. 
Maybe he's not going to go for a touchdown. Go for the eye cage. Hmm. Follow up. Don't go for the eye cage. He hasn't blitzed yet. I guess he's going to go for the score. Banged on by Brogan. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen an ogre touchdown. I just skipped the replay. Six outnumbered. The KO rolls are being bad. I mean, taking three cars against ogres isn't ridiculous, is it? But um, feel pretty hard done by. So he blocks him, and I've got two players free. Or he blitzes him, and I've got two, three guys to make some kind of formation. Holy shit, this is horrible. This is next level bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI to pass. <sighs> yeah, of course it's a push. Maybe I'll lose, eh? I'm past carrying at this point. Oh. <laughs> There's no real way to potato against a break tackle ogre, is there? <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. What a fucking, what a fucking great day. Um. just no way to do anything is there fuck it full on potato
well, I was pretty sad then, but I've gone for some uh, some food, and uh, this looks pretty good, doesn't it? I guess I shouldn't have made that dodge, because if he was freed up, it would have been all right, wouldn't it? Maybe he could blitz and then go and mark him. Just in case the dodge fails. Unbelievable, Jeff. All right, I'm not Jim Shard anymore. Wow, I got lucky as fuck. <laughs> In the end. Lucky as fuck. <sighs> wow. GGWP, Eisenwolf. Or Eisen, Sir Ironclad, whichever you want. Fucking hell, I mean, I guess there's still a chance of a throw teammate. Um, technically. Or a riot. But, um. That was very close, wasn't it? Fucking hell. Got very lucky. Very lucky in the end. Unbelievable, Jeff. It's funny, the first match was against Dwarves and thought it was going to be horrific, but it was actually, he was terrible and it was easy. And then this, well, I didn't think it was going to be easy. They've always got the potential to just cast the fuck out of you, haven't you? Luckily, the, de the dead one in this game was a, uh, was a journeyman, so it's only two dead in the first two games, which isn't so bad. Um, and yeah, Chaos for Chant Ladder, yeah, Conflicts and love, yeah. <laughs> oh, screw the VIP screw dude. The leveling fan for this team is only like four core pommers. Um, to be honest, but there you go. The yeah, niggle guy is dead. Yeah, that's what I said. So it's two dead. Because the 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 actual dead guy was a journeyman.
<laughs> the onside kick, yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Crazy kick. I mean, lucky for me, really, it pretty much. He's reduced to some kind of weird fucking passing play now, isn't he? So, the right, not that bad. Alright, well that um, that takes care of me having to defend against the throw teammate next turn. <laughs> no, that, is, that really is GG then, isn't it? Oh, he's got a blitz and GFI with this guy. And then pass to him next turn. Not in the proper throw teammate defence. As, as much as I could be with seven players. More in the middle. And this is a pretty fair throw teammate defence, to be honest. I didn't even realise that guy was in scoring range and I just went for that pass. <laughs> oh, so fucking dumb. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, I'm eating my dinner, so... <laughs> Well, the, the serve would have been completely pointless, wouldn't it? Um, so, you know, there was that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, the only thing was getting star player points, wasn't there? So, I was a one in nine to go down against Mighty Blow. So, if I had blitzed him, I would have just blitzed him to knock him down for star player points. Um, but I thought it was it was more chance of getting a completion than a Kaz. So went for that first. Um, 
Would it have been a draw if you'd gone for that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say, isn't it? I mean, I think I got lucky, obviously, in the end to get the win. But then, you know, there were some unlucky things before then. But I think I'm going to try to not care too much. How do I sack this guy? Oh, it's not on that screen anymore. You can only sack him through there. All right. Well, I shouldn't sack him, should I, in case? Okay, you know. I'm not going to sack people straight away anymore. Right. My Tigers. You can have block, probably. He's on seven. You can definitely get block first. Oh, double. He could go dodge. But I think I'd want to stat first. So, let's go block. And maybe mighty blow first on that guy. Might get the apple. Maybe just another block. Yeah, GG, um, Ironclad. That was, it was fucking close. I mean, you definitely played well. Uh, and I don't know, it felt like I was unlucky at points, but then obviously got really lucky to score in the end, so fair enough. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I I, I, I moaned a lot. Um, I've got to get out of that way of thinking because I don't have to win every game, do I? If I play 42 games with Chaos, I'll get a decent record and I'll be the, I'll get the wild card one. And that's what I've got to think rather than like thinking I've got to win literally every single game, which has been the mindset that I've been in in previous Champs Ladder seasons. I should, uh, I should rectify that. I guess my Tigers goes mighty blow, doesn't he? Anyway, I'll have a little bit of a think about it. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.